In this video, we'll take a complex number in modulus argument form and rewrite it in standard format. So we are going to use this expression to find the real value and imaginary value for this complex number. And it's a pretty simple process. What you need to do is use your calculator and remember to set your calculator to radians and not degrees. That will help you to simplify this expression. So what we're going to do is multiply both terms in the bracket by the modulus of 13 on the outside. So 13 times cos of 1.176 is equals to 5 plus 13 times sine of 1.176. That will be 12i. Notice that I do not multiply with i because i is an imaginary number. And that is how we rewrite a complex number that's in modulus argument form in its standard format. Now, if you have forgotten what modulus argument form is, imagine that we have a point plotted on the complex plane. And we can plot a complex number by using its a and b value. So it's real and imaginary value. And we can find the distance between the origin and that point. That distance is called the modulus. And in modulus argument form, it's the number in front of the bracket. So the modulus of this expression is 13. That is the length from the origin to the point. The second thing that we need to consider is the argument. Now the argument is the angle between the real axis and the line between the origin and that point. And the argument we represent in radians. And in this example, that angle is equals to 1.176 radians.